High traders, the market is at a new high. To understand the market, one must examine what happened on Friday. IBM and American Express both released disappointing reports. The Senate failed to reach the budget agreement and we've seen the bond yields peaking and the dollar falling to a new low. However, the S&P 500 rose on Friday, gaining 0.9% for the week. Now the question of course is why? The answer is simple, momentum. Momentum is one of the strongest market forces. It creates fear. Investors who fear to miss the party. It can overcome all negative news and run over all the bears. Momentum is in fact your best friend. Let's take a technical look at the market. When we look at the S&P 500, we can see the momentum and a very strong one. Now, the market is very much extended to the upside, so when a pullback is going to come, it's probably going to be quite big. But we do not fight the momentum. What you're seeing here is a very, very strong momentum. The economy looks well and the market is gaining more momentum. We should join the momentum rather than fight it. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had ice from two weeks ago, which finally reached our target, which is over 3%. And again, just a reminder, we sell three quarters at a 3% gain and we move the stop to the entry point for the last quarter. We also had WB, which did more than 7% last week, which is a great trigger. As you can see, very nice technical formation. Once it broke the highs, it moved to a new high and again, plenty of space to give us uh, the 3% partial and move the stop to the last uh, of the last uh, quarter to the entry point. The last trigger was very interesting. It was SGMO. SGMO did great. However, it all happened in five minutes. So it triggered. You needed to be very, very fast. And I have to say I wasn't. You need to be very, very fast in order to buy it and to sell it at a 3% gain. It did more than 4%. I usually do not use myself. I don't use uh, automated orders. So I didn't really have the chance to go long. But if you did, you had to be again very, very fast fast with SGMO and the last quarter is out because it moved until the entry point. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Citigroup Long, over $78.44, a nice combination of a nice technical formation over the highs and one of the biggest winners, the whole financial industry, of course, of the new tax plans, Donald Trump's uh, tax plans. So the whole financial sector is moving up, Citigroup included. Probably uh, if the market is going to continue higher, and I believe it will, Citigroup will do well. My second pick for the week is IDTI Long, over $33.92. IDTI is a, a manufacturer of semiconductor solutions for the communication industry. It looks great and again, very nice technical formation breakout over the highs. And if the market is going to continue higher and probably will, uh, we may have a winner in IDTI too. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account, which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.